I'm going to try and go over what I've learned with gas ascent launches. Um, pretty inconsistent with how much height you will get. Um, I don't know what variables go into how this works. Um, I've gotten more height from wearing a full glide suit and being in certain locations. Um, I'm sure more will be figured out as more people use the trick and you know figure out the nuances. Um, I'm just going to skip this blood moon here because I don't want to watch the blood moon cutscene. Handy trick, go into a shrine when the blood moon goes because time still goes past in the shrine. Um, and then give it a second. And then just leave. I guess I had to go through two loading uh, screens, which was actually longer than watching the Blood Moon cutscene. But, um. Yeah, I don't want Blood Moon. So I'm going to come over to some flat ground where I've had some pretty good launches. Who knows if I'll actually get a good launch. Um, we'll have to see. So for this you need three things. Um, I'm going to save here. Just so I don't have to set this up again. You need a big battery or a small stone, anything you can hold over your head and ascend through. You need a shock emitter or something that's going to electrocute you. Um, ow. And you need a fan. So we're going to fuse this fan to our shield and we're going to do the gas part of gas ascend launches, which is a guardless active shield. Um, this is a little bit harder because it's raining. So the range is a bit fucked. I'm not used to this in the rain. There we go. off and give myself some charge because that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to so now that we've got gas <laughs> great choice of words Jake um, yeah now that we've got gas uh, go to the toilet ascend through the battery I find it's easier to just time it, don't mash. And let the shake out of this head animation play. And there is. What I like to call Hyrule Space Mission. Or as the community call it, a gas ascend launch. And as you can see, it shot me all the way up into the skies loading zone.